Lesson 11, Quadrant Geometry, Quadrant Methods in Geometry. Example 1, the points A, 1, 2, B, 3, negative 2, and C, 4, 1, are the vertices of a triangle. Prove that triangle ABC is isosceles. Now it's very important when you do these ones, of geometry, that you keep the scale the same on both axes. You don't have to be deadly accurate, but try and keep them as close as possible. Now it starts, at, we've got 1, 3 and 4, so I'll write that down as 1, 2, 3 and a 4. And this one goes down to uh, minus 2 up to size 2. So, oops, and there we go. So there we go. It's pretty good. Now A is 1, 2. Cross 1 up 2. There's A. Now B is 3, negative 2. B is 3, negative 2 down here. And C is 4, 1. C is 4, 1. 4, 1 there. C is 4, 1 there. Now, the more accurate you are, the easier it is to see the which is going to be our softies. Now, from that, I'm pretty. It looks pretty clear that this is A C and B C are the ones we're going to show as our softies. Right. So, if we look at the distance A C and the distance B C, if those two distances are equal to each other, then it's our softies. If the scale was drawn badly, you wouldn't know which way to go, and you would, and you could do it, but just take an extra bit of working. Okay, so let's have a look at what AC is equal to. Using the distance formula, AC is equal to the square root of, now that'll be 4 minus 1 all squared plus 1 minus 2 all squared. And that comes out to the square root of 10. BC is equal to the square root of 4 minus 3 all squared plus 1 take away negative 2 all squared. Of course that is 1 squared which is 1 and that's 3 squared which is 9. So again we're getting the square root of 10. Therefore AC equals BC, therefore triangle ABC is isosceles. Right, example two. The points A minus 1, 4, B minus 2, minus 3, and C, 3, minus 3, and D are the vertices of a parallelogram. Find the coordinates of D. Now here we have to be very careful in the scale. So let's get this organized. So it's going minus 2 to 3. And then minus 2 there. Across to 3. 1, 2, 3. And vertically it's minus 3 to 4. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Now A is the point minus one, four. There's A. B is the point minus two, minus three. Minus two, minus three. Down, oops, minus two, minus three there. And there we go, that's B. And C is three, minus three. Three, minus three. Let's see. Right, so there we have those ones. So D is going to be located in this area here. Now to work out where D is, if I'm going to go from B across to A, let's write these coordinates in. A is minus 1, 4. And this is going to be minus 2, minus 3. And C, of course, is just 3 minus 3. Now, to go from B to A, I've got to go across, go across 
one and up a total of now it's down at maybe three a total of up seven right so if I want to um, keep the keep the line CD parallel I'll have to do the same thing I'll go across one which makes it to four okay so it's going to be D of coordinates D will be four Run that down. So we've got a cross four and we've got to go up seven. So when we go up seven, we end up again at four. So it's four, four. So cross one, up seven, and that will keep it, whoops, it look very parallel, it? That will keep it parallel to A, B. Right. So it's a quite a neat little way of working out the coordinates.